Have you ever wondered what an SAP consultant actually does every day? Is it all about coding, endless meetings, or maybe solving business problems? In today's video, we'll walk through a full day in the life of a real-world SAP consultant. From the moment they log in to the moment they close their laptop. Let's dive in. The day typically starts around 8.30 or 9 a.m., depending on whether the consultant is working on-site, remote, or in a hybrid setup. Most consultants begin by checking their inbox. There could be system notifications, transport requests, or business users following up on issues. Also, if you're in a client-facing role, expect early messages from business stakeholders asking for updates or explanations. The first 30 minutes are all about organizing, reviewing the calendar, listing key priorities, checking overnight transport results or integration jobs. If you're working on a large project, your day may already be structured around a defined plan. But if you're in a support role, flexibility is key. You never know what kind of issue will pop up. Second morning stand-up or team meetings around 9.30 a.m., most teams hold a daily stand-up, a short meeting to align progress. In agile environments, it's often part of a sprint. Functional consultants might mention a requirement-gathering session they had with the business. Technical consultants could bring up a bug they fixed or a program they transported to QA. Here's what's typically discussed, what you did yesterday, what you'll do today. Any blockers or dependencies, it's also a chance to raise technical or business-related challenges so the team can coordinate. This is crucial in cross-functional team. In and for example, a finance consultant might depend on MM data, or a developer might need clarification from a functional lead. Third, real work begins. Mid-morning focus time. After meetings, the real action starts. Functional consultants run test cases in QA check customizing an SPRO. Write functional specifications map business requirements to SAP processes. Sometimes demo scenarios in sandbox systems. Technical consultants code an AB API editor to bug programs using breakpoints. Handle data migration tasks like LSMW or BAPIs. Manage transport requests using STMS. Some might even work on UI design in SAP Fiori or create backend services using OData. In rollout or implementation projects, documentation also takes time. Blueprints, process flows, training materials for end users. Four, collaboration and user interaction. SAP consultants rarely work alone. Throughout the day, you'll likely interact with end users reporting issues or asking questions, business analysts refining requirements, developers clarifying functional logic, testers validating your deliverables, project managers asking for updates, risks, and progress. These moments often happen ad hoc, via email, teams, or informal calls. One hour, you might be explaining tax configuration in SAP FI. Next hour, you're debugging a pricing error in SD. This role demands strong communication skills and domain understanding, not just technical know-how. Five, firefighting. Issues, tickets, and urgency. Let's be honest, every day isn't smooth sailing. Maybe an integration fails between SAP and a third-party system or a production issue is raised with high priority. Maybe a transport created unintended side effects in another module. You log into ST22 or SM13, trying to understand the root cause. You coordinate with basis, test in QA, maybe even patch it directly in PROD with manager approval. These moments test your real skill, because anyone can follow a guide but not everyone can solve problems under pressure. Six, reporting and documentation. 
After a day full of tasks, most consultants turn to something equally important. Documentation and reporting. This isn't just about writing what you did. It's about leaving a trace for future reference, helping the team understand your logic, creating audit-proof documentation for clients. You might update a JIRA task, complete a ticket in ServiceNow or Solution Manager, add comments to a functional or technical spec, log time spent for billing or project tracking, Good documentation equals good consulting. Sloppy consultants lose trust. Great ones document like they're telling a story. 7. Wrapping up. As the day winds down, most consultants do a quick recap. Some check the next day's calendar. Others set slack reminders or review their sprint board. It's also when you get to reflect. Did you solve what you planned? Did you unblock someone else? Did you learn anything new? This final 30 minutes is where you level up quietly. Because what you reflect on today shapes how you grow tomorrow. Some days will feel like a grind. Others, like a breakthrough. That's the life of a consultant. You evolve every day, even when no one's watching. 8. Final thoughts. So now you've seen the reality behind the title. What SAP consultants actually do every day. It's not just clicking buttons or reading specs. It's about making systems run smoother. It's about helping businesses grow. It's about solving real problems. And making complex systems feel simple. If that sounds boring to you, then maybe this isn't your world. But if it sounds exciting, structured, and full of potential, then this might just be the career path you've been searching for. Ready to start your SAP journey? Then don't stop here. Watch the Start Your SAP Career playlist. It's the perfect beginner roadmap with real-world steps, tools, and insider advice. Download the free SAP Starter Checklist below. Start your career with structure, not guesswork. And hey, if this video helped you in any way, do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment SAP Journey Started if you're taking that first step today. Because the more you engage, the more SAP Phi grows, and the more I can give back to you with better content every single week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, and keep building your SAP future.